Hello, we have an older programmable thermostat, which I'm going to replace with a brand new Nest E thermostat. This is how our older one looks like. Before starting any of this work, I did make sure that power to the thermostat is turned off. The absence of red flashing light on my tester is also a confirmation of that. I'm not a pro or an electrician, and there may be better ways of doing it. This method worked for me, but may not work for everyone. For our heating only system, I made a note of how the current thermostat is wired with a jumper cable between RC and RH and the red wire going in RH and white going in W. Nest E has a rechargeable battery. It connects to Wi-Fi, therefore it needs constant power to recharge its battery. It can get the power in two different ways, either from a common wire or a C wire, or if that is not available, using what is commonly called a power stealing function, taking power from the furnace. But that kind of assumes that the HVAC system is running throughout the year. But what about the months with milder weather or heating only systems in summer, such as ours, when neither is running? I've heard that those can be problems, as the system can get into abrupt start stop loops and resulting in loud noises coming from the heating system. We have a two wire with no C wire to get around this potential issue. I decided to get a 24 volt adapter to provide power using C wire. It is sometimes also called a C wire adapter or a common wire adapter. First of all, I test the adapter by connecting it to Nest E. One of the wires goes into R, the other goes into the slot marked as C in Nest E's base. Either one of the wires can be connected in any of these slots. I don't believe it matters. Next, I plug in the adapter and push the Nest E display on its base to connect it. It can be a little harder to push the display on the thermostat when it is not screwed onto the wall. Later on, to remove it, I can simply hold the base and pull the display out straight. The flashing green light means that the thermostat is getting power. The home icon displayed on the screen is another confirmation. Before disconnecting existing wires, I tape the cable on the wall so that it does not fall back in the wall. This is a good time to straighten strip dents. I only need about 3 eighths of an inch for this installation. To connect both the C wire and the existing wire, to Nest E, I connected one of the wires from the adapter as well as a red heat RH red wire from furnace to R slot. I connected the heating load W wire to the W1 slot. Even though we do not have cooling, Nest E does not need a jumper cable going from red cool RC slot to red heat RH slot. Therefore, I did not connect that. Next, I switched on the power to the thermostat and voila, it is working as expected. I checked equipment under settings and it indeed recognized both the C wire and heat. I let Nest E test the heat system and I could feel hot air coming out of the baseboard, which also confirmed that it is working as expected. With a high degree of confidence that Nest E is going to work for us, I'm now ready to say goodbye to the old system. The old base plate is stuck with years of paint and I use a blade to cut and remove the plate off the wall. Next, I'm going to power off the thermostat again, remove Nest E, old anchors, hide the adapter cable behind the wall, install the base plate that came with Nest, and pretty much repeating the steps I did before to finally permanently install my Nest E thermostat. If you are curious how I hid the adapter cable behind the wall, this is how I did it. I tied a few nuts on a thread and dropped them behind, dropped them in the wall behind the thermostat where the existing cable was going. Next, I made a hook from a steel cable, which was actually a handle from an old outdoor bug repellent bucket candle. Next, I removed the modeling, uh, molding close to the floor and drilled a hole big enough to pull the nuts out using the hook, right underneath where I dropped them. Once I had the other end of the thread out, I could tape the adapter cable to it and pull it up from the thermostat end to connect to the thermostat. However, 
With the hole so close to the floor and the installation being on the first floor, I was able to pull the thread the adapter cable up from basement and actually plug the adapter in a socket in the basement, which in my opinion turned out to be even better. With the wall patched up to cover all the holes and molding back on and the installation complete, I'm pleased with the way it looks in the end.